The Declaration of Independence states that we are all endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these rights are the preservation of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. What is your pursuit of happiness? The answer is easy. Hunting is our pursuit of happiness. Hunting is what our whole life has revolved around since the beginning. To call it a hobby or a passion would be unjust. Hunting is what God has given us and our families to make a life by. It's part of everything we know and everything we can remember. Almost every good memory we have with family and friends involves hunting. We've done it since our fathers and grandfathers taught us how at an early age, and we plan to continue to hunt and teach the traditions of hunting for as long as we live. And nothing or no one is going to take that away from us. Abilene, Texas is home to Paul Holton and Holton deer hunts. And it's also home to his orange painted Yeti cup that sports the label Super Guide that his good buddy Ryan Norwood gave to him after many years of great hunts. And although we give Paul a hard time about this cup and the fact that he takes it everywhere he goes, and sometimes refers to himself as Super Guide, what he's done with Holton deer hunts makes him a super guy. His nearly 100% success rate for all of his clients has only been topped by the amount of fun that everyone has every time they go to Holton Deer Hunts and to Abilene, Texas. And we look forward to it every year. Well, that's kind of what we do at Paul's Ranch out here in Abilene. We help very little, but when we get a chance, we love to get out here and do this. I mean, we always prepare for deer. We always scout them. How many deer we probably seen this morning? I saw about a dozen where I rode. About a dozen. I know I saw three different bucks this morning, and we always got binoculars with us, just scouting year round. Finish up working a few cattle, and we're gonna get ready for bow season. It's, it's gonna coming. be fun. It's gonna get here before you know it. We just got set up in the same blind me and Kyle set in yesterday. I'm on with Paul today. Kyle had to get back, get back home right before Christmas, and I'm leaving out early in the morning to get back home. But Paul graciously is filming me today after he took us on a SmackDown duck hunt this morning. We came out of there with a seven-man limit. We killed 42 ducks this morning. Killed 130 pigeons and doves yesterday. It's just it's been basically a Christmas present. It's been an awesome week, awesome two days. But uh, I'm gonna try to try to finish it up right here before we head home with our families to Christmas and spend some time doing all that. Thank the Lord that we have this opportunity to be here today, and we're about to see a lot of deer. It's cool, and uh, they gotta get in this wheat field, so it's gonna be fun. Coming up on Simmons Sporting Goods, all things hunting. This segment brought to you in part by Gator Waiters and Bill Jordan's Real Tree. Family, friends, and the outdoors. You're watching Simmons Sporting Goods, all things hunting. Brought to you in part by Browning Firearms, the best there is. Hey, this is Lindsay at Simmons Sporting Goods and we have some exciting news. We're now selling guns online to all 50 states. Check us out, SimmonsSportingGoods.com.
shot on it. Thank you, Mike. You feel good? Yeah. Oh, man, I'm shaking. My heart is beating. I need nothing. But, uh, Paul's filming, filming me today, which is so unbelievably gracious for this. This is stupid, crazy fun. Man, I'm excited. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this. Thank you, Lord. This is a gift, man. Christmas is coming up in two days. We're about to leave here and go spend time with our families, which we look forward to so much. But this is awesome. This is what it's about. No, he goes in at the right angle, but not. And not out. I don't know. We can look at the big screen at the house. Look at these deer coming back in here already. They're already coming back in here. Here, we got one near to look for. If a doe comes in, kill her. You got your bow, kill her. She comes in. You good? Just calling Kyle and telling him. Still shaking a little bit, it's crazy. Me and Paul feel really good about it, man. We feel like it was a great shot, but uh, man, not quite the blood we were looking for. What we're gonna do, just like most people do, we're gonna go back and watch the footage. Paul's got a buddy, Jeremy, who has got a great lab, who is uh, six for six or seven for seven, on, and a young pup that is uh, doing really well. So uh, we're gonna get out of here. We found blood, found my air, clean, went clean past through. But uh, we're going to give it a little bit of time. Just, man, just to be on the safe side. It's cold tonight, but we're going to wait an hour, maybe two hours. We're going to come back in here and see what we can find. But uh, like everybody says, this is the this is the, this is the worst part about hunting. It's just the waiting. But hey, man, you got to pray for patience and just hopefully think positive. We'll see what happens. Look at the arrow. And that's the fledging sticking up, isn't it? Or that's, that's the broad head. head. That's wow. not good. Rewind it. Wow. There's the entrance. But you see how it goes straight oh. up? Look at the corner of that shoulder. See? It went in, and when he dropped, look at his body. It's angled down, and it's a, it goes There's straight, the arrow right straight through muscle, straight up the back, straight up the shoulder. Not even I the ain't side. went up the shoulder. I don't think it ever went in look, his chest. It didn't. It's on that side of his backbone. Yeah. His fletching's still in the deer. Yeah. It comes out at this fence over here. God, it it didn't like, even get in the cavity. I'll bet he said some gun, don't no. He hurt for a little bit, didn't he? Uh, we thought he was swaying, what he was doing. Oh, yeah, he was well, slipping, he he was slipping in the like field. He wasn't gonna make it. No, we thought he was dead on the other side of the fence, but yeah. when you watch that, it's not. Uh, yeah, it, unless it got along or something. And it, or two, Jeremy but, made it across the fence. Jeremy bring the dog. I was getting stirred, that dog was stirring his drink. That ain't no good. That's no good. Well, we can go look and see. Coming up on Simmons Sporting Goods, all things hunting. 
This segment brought to you in part by Moultrie and Under Armour. Always lethal. You're watching Sima Sporting Goods, all things hunting. This segment brought to you in part by Vortex Optics, the force of optics. Hey guys, SimmonsportingGoods.com. I want to tell you about a great deal we have on a Vortex Copperhead, 4 to 12 by 44, 149 on the website. Check it out, SimmonsportingGoods.com. Well, it's late January here in Texas. We, uh, we're getting a little wet, but we need the moisture, so it's okay. Uh, we've, I've been running my trail cams pretty hard here lately. Cole shot a buck a couple of weeks ago, a real nice mature 10, and we followed the blood for a lot, 500, 600 yards, had the dog out. Never did find him, but lo and behold, found him on the game cameras and he's alive doing well looks to be we're going to uh kyle and cole are coming back here in a week or so we're going to try to get back on that deer and our good friend david blanton's coming we've got a good many mature bucks and we're going to try to get everybody on one and try to get that other deer taken video the other day it was straight ahead <clears throat> I was looking straight to the north y'all are gonna be over here uh -huh. on the west side looking straight down this water line because it's so close to baseball season, like you shouldn't be hunting during this time of year. Yeah, go Atlanta Braves.
coming up on Simmons Sporting Goods All Things Hunting. This segment brought to you in part by Pro Drive Shallow Water Outboards and Sea Light LED Lights. You're watching Simmons Sporting Goods All Things Hunting. This segment brought to you in part by Browning Ammunition. If you'd like to hunt a place that you saw on TV today, please contact Paul Holton at Holton Deer Hunts in Abilene, Texas for one of the best deer hunts you will ever go on in your lifetime. Well, it's just breaking day. First morning here in Texas. Hunting with Paul Holton deer hunts. It's crazy. But these ranches that are that are under management program. Uh, in the state of Texas, if they're if they're here in certain conditions, they can hunt through February. And I'm already looking at deer. It's crazy. It's cold this morning. It's 34 degrees. The wind's really brisk. I've got bucks down in the bottom here now where I'm hunting this morning. I'm looking for an old nine point. That's the main deer that we're looking for this morning. Holton deer hunts. February. We had this deer come in. He's big. I was trying to make sure he was old enough. And I think that deer's at least five years old. He's just run down from the rut. But we just smoked him at about 100 yards. He just fell over dead up there. Golly, that's awesome. Is that awesome? <laughs> Simmons Sporting Goods All Things Hunting is brought to you in part by Travel Manitoba, Canada's heartbeat. Close captioning for Simmons Sporting Goods All Things Hunting provided by the multi-weapon pack systems from Insights Hunting. No matter what your weapon choice, Insights Hunting allows you to focus more on the hunt with the most innovative and well-built products on the market today. <laughs> 